From coast to coast, thousands are challenging President Trump's executive order on immigration. KBOI2's Lauren Clark tells us how Boiseans joined in and their message for immigrants and refugees in our area. Kelsey and Brian, the protest with all of its chants and posters is over here at the Boise Airport. But organizers of that protest say their work isn't. Instead, they're vowing to protect refugees and communities here in Boise. Hundreds gathering at the Boise Airport to stand up and unite against President Trump's executive order which banned citizens of seven Muslim-majority countries for 90 days and all refugees for 120. It's unconstitutional and not what this country is about. It's very un-American, in fact. For some, it's an opportunity to stand with neighbors, like Lori Ode, who volunteers with refugees often. Many of them are very highly skilled and highly educated. They come to America with a lot of hope and others to speak up for what they think is right. People who are fleeing out of Syria are the people who are being persecuted and we need to protect them. And, and with a large turnout, many say they have hope for making a change. It's so heartwarming to me to see that Boise is so uh, welcoming to refugees. Now, KBOI 2 was here for the entire duration of that protest and said they didn't see any counter protesters here, but they did see, in fact, a protester who stayed here until 1030 last night. Now, no news if there is going to be another protest here at the airport, but organizers ha have said on social media that they will continue to fight this order. Reporting live here in the Boise Airport, Lauren Clark, KBOI 2 News. Well, across the nation, protests, protests could still be taking place at more airports. Now, like the Boise Airport yesterday and other places across the country, they were filled with protesters, and most of these remained largely peaceful. At times, though, President Trump supporters and these protesters have clashed, forcing airport police to move in. Representative Raul Labrador released a statement on President Trump's executive order. It reads in part, quote, Congress has identified significant flaws with the vetting process for those seeking entry into the U.S. The prior administration failed to adequately address security concerns. President Trump has finally taken necessary national security and public safety measures regarding refugees and non-immigrants seeking entry. And Idaho Senator Mike Crapo says this, quote, during town meetings I held across my state, Idahoans affirmed that we must take steps to secure our borders, and I agree. We will need to constantly refine and improve our vetting process.